Welcome back guys to another tutorial. This one is the final one of the Subway Surfer Part A, which is, you know, Subway Surfer gameplay uh, local. Next up, uh, we're going to have like more stuff like uh, hooking up the Google Play services, having some online saving, having some leaderboard achievement, all that kind of stuff. But today, what we do is we actually um, publish this. So right here, we've created our page for our application. It's out there. Subway Skater is being um, approved right now and it's out in alpha of course this does not mean the game is ready we still need to create some proper prefab something I'll be doing offline um, I'm also gonna be adding some 3d models in there just polishing it a little bit more and then it's gonna be out for good so this is what we do guys we set up our Google account we set up our APK and we get ready to push this to the world so <laughs> without further ado let's get right into it Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start opening up the uh, the Google Play console. To do that, head over to Google Play, actually to Google, and type in Google Play Developer or Google Play Console, and then click on this very first link. You should see it at play.google.com, make sure it's HTTPS so you don't get, um, you don't get scammed. Right, so if you haven't paid for it yet, they're going to ask you to create a Google account, which is a $25 USD one-time fee. Once you have that, you can go ahead and publish as many games as you want. What we're going to be doing right here is we're going to make sure we go under all application, create an application. I just realized I have very few things on my account. And um, go ahead and put a default language. The title is going to be, well, that's my title, right? If you put the same title as me, they might actually catch you through um, the, whole, the whole copying thing. So you might not want to put the same title, do a little bit of changes. And if you can, also change the art. Create. Once we do have this, you're going to see a lot of information so this is going to be about filling a lot of of text um, currently the game is only for English short description you are a pingu running free or something like that you know just just be creative here um, full description that sounds pretty accurate Graphical asset is something you'll need absolutely else your game won't even be published won't even be ranked It's you need to have some screenshots so you can do that um, Now, but I'd like to do that a little bit later on in the episode I'm just going to skip this section right here the graphical asset section head down to the categorization This is gonna be a game action game Let's see if something fits a little bit more Okay, so it could be an arcade, could be an action. I'll leave it on action. This is something we'll be back to in a moment. You can put in your website. Mine's already there. My email, my public email, uh, my phone. I'd rather not. And the privacy policy if you have one. In our case, we don't. So let's save this draft. That is done. Next up, we are going to tackle, tackle the, uh, the app release. So this is where we actually upload our APK. To do that, we need an actual APK. So we'll be heading back inside of Unity, make sure we set up everything we need. I'm gonna make sure to go under File, Build Settings. We are building to an Android phone. Let's go under Player Settings and add an icon. Add a, you don't have to add a cursor. I don't think nobody ever does that, but um, you could add one. Define if you want this to be auto-rotate. Nope, mine's gonna be on landscape right. Um, what else do we need to set? The icon is going to be set at the same time as you said the default icon. Splash image, I don't need any. Other settings, we are going to need to give it a package name. Now, don't put the same one as me. You won't be able to upload it. That's the very first thing. And second, you know, you, that just won't work. You need to have your own package settings. The rule goes as follows. So you say, come dot, and then the name of your company. So Jelly Bean could be it. And then the name of your game. So Subway Skater in my case. I'll keep everything in uh, small letters. As far as the version goes, I don't think that's going to be my first version, my real version. I'd like to say that would be like an alpha version. So I'll put 0 0.1. Um, bundle version code, it's the very first bundle we're going to publish, so that's fine. You can bump up the minimum API if you want. I don't need to. And then what else? Oh, down here under device filter, I'll be putting mine on ARM only because I'm not building 86. I'm not going to be building 86 at all. Um, so I believe, I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on this, but I think if you don't build 86, you're excluding 
Windows Phone, I think. <laughs> Basically, we're going to be building only for this processor. Okay. And uh, by doing this also, you are going to reduce the APK size by quite a lot. The rest of this, I don't need to keep it. Um, we're going to go under publishing settings. This is where it's going to get interesting. You need to create a new key store if you don't have one already. If you already have one, you know how to do this. You don't need me to explain. But if you need to create a new one, go ahead, hit create, enter a password, enter your password again, and you're going to have to confirm um, this password. It's going to be creating a key somewhere on your computer. You're going to choose where to actually set it with the browse key store. You're going to decide where you put it. This key, you must never lose it. If you lose it, you can't update your app anymore. So really important that you keep that key. Once you have chosen your key, you're going to have to create a Nalias. So I'll go ahead and create a new one. I have a few of the other games I've made under this key. Create a new one for me. This one's going to be, say, um, Subway Skater. Password, you just put some password. Confirm, of course. Validity is fine. First and last name. That'll do. And I don't think I need to put anything else in here. Okay. Having this completed, now you have to choose your alias again. And also something I haven't mentioned is if you don't have the Android SDK downloaded, you can't do this step. This is part of the Android SDK. So um, in case you're confused there, you have the pop-up that says you need to find the Android SDK. Go ahead and watch the video. There's going to be a video in the description down below and also at the end of um, the screen. And it's going to link you on how to publish from A to Z a game on Google Play. Or sorry, how to do a build, an Android build. <laughs> And um, yeah, so once that is completed, you choose your key, you put your password, the one you just put inside of the alias, and you can finally build. So in our case, we are going to build only one scene, only the game scene. I'll be putting that in here. And what is the problem here? In order to build a player, go to player settings to resolve the incompatibility between color space and current settings. So apparently we have some problems going on with the... Um, the color space so we're going to go back in the other settings I believe and put that back on gamma and one last thing I'd like to make sure before I actually publish this is that we have a icon so I went ahead and I created one real quick here it is just a crop of the pingu and that will do it so I'll go ahead make a build make sure I save somewhere say um, right here under directly my my project folder I'll call this one 093017 because that's the date of today and you're gonna find like a couple of things if your if your settings are not set properly. Mine, I just installed the Android SDK right now, so they are not set properly. I do invite you to go ahead and look at the video in the description and at the end of this one, it's gonna teach you how to actually build to Android without getting all these problems I am currently getting. So I'll quickly fix that on my end, find my Android SDK, where is it? It should be right here. And I might need a reboot. So I went ahead and I restarted the engine. Now it works and I will be building this as an APK. Um, something I'd like to mention, every time you boot the engine back up after trying to publish something like that, you'll need to actually rewrite your password under the player settings. So that might be something annoying. Um, just know that you only have to do it once you're making an APK that needs to be signed. You can make debug APK all the time without any worries. If you want to have a signed APK that you can publish on um, the Google Play Store for either a update to your app or a new app, you'll have to go put your password again. So mine's about to be done. I'll head back into um, I'll head back right into the actual screen right here. And let's go ahead and upload this one. So under the app release, you're going to find that you can um where is it? You can upload an APK somewhere, I would assume. This website keeps changing all the time, so I'm going to go and say, here, manage alpha. We're going to create a release. And OK, so it's going to ask us to accept some um, privacy settings. That's fine. We just did it. And we have to drop our APK. So the newest one is this one right here with today's date. As you can see, has a, signif a significant smaller APK size because we're only building to ARM. Uh, processor, not the uh, x86, I believe. So very small APK size, I'm going to drop that right in here. 
and if everything went right, if we have the proper bundle ID, if we have the proper um, publisher settings, you should see it appear here under version code 1. Release name is going to be 0 0.1, that's fine. And what's new in this release? Initial commit. Let's just call this one. <laughs> Let's just call this one like we're doing a, uh, a git push or something. So this line is not in language section. Okay, so you actually have to keep um, the language right here. So initial commit. Let's do save. Okay. Your save have been changed. Now, as you can tell, you're going to see a green check mark over here. That's because this section is done. So you can pretty much go here and play with as much as you want. Though, if you're just rushing your release, you gotta make sure that all of these one right here, they are fixed. So if we go back to store listing, what is the problem here? We need to enter a privacy policy URL. So we haven't put anything in there. So I'm gonna say not submitting a privacy policy URL at this time. If you haven't already, make sure you put some image in here, else they're also going to decline. So I went ahead and I took some pictures of in-game footage. Uh, I cropped this thing, the same thing as my icon, promo graphic, feature graphic. All of the one that has a little star next to it are needed. So I'm going to save this, and the green check marks appear. We are now headed to the content rating, so let's hit continue. Need to enter an email address, I'm just going to enter my public one. Confirm. I'll be lazy. Copy it. What kind of category are we? We are a game. And do we have violence? No, we don't. We don't have fear either. We don't have sexuality. No gambling, real gambling or cash payout. We don't have offensive language. We don't have drugs. We don't have crude humor. Now, we can't, um, we can't interact with other players. It's not sharing the location. We're not doing any... Um, digital purchase at the moment no hate symbols no criminal blah 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 and no terrorism okay save and then we calculate the rating we get your rating so our game is pretty much safe for everybody amazing let's apply the rating and we should now get the green check mark amazing next one is the price and distribution our app is going to be free is going to be available for all the countries um, it could be directed towards children of age uh, 13 and less so I mean it's really up to you I don't think I'm going to check this because it's really anybody it does not contain ad at the moment these are settings we're going to have to change if we do put ads, of course. Don't forget about those, else you can get your um, your application banned. It's not for education, it's not designed for family, not running a daydream program, and um, doo -doo 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 -doo. don't opt out of this content guideline. It does meet the content guideline, and it does meet the US exports law. Alright, so upon saving again, you're going to see that we have all the check marks and we are now ready to publish. You're going to get this thing at the top right, right here. I will be clicking on it. Manage releases. And where do we actually click next? Okay, so this is actually um, some alpha testing. I'm going to go ahead and say open alpha testing. Maximum amount of tester. Let's put down a 555. Five. Oh, actually, it has to be minimum 8,000, so let's put that on 8,000. Um, feedback channel. I'm going to go ahead and put my Facebook in there. Why not? And here we go. So let's press save, and the changes has been changed. So how do we actually push this release out now? Let's do a review. This release is ready to be rolled out. Okay, there's only one APK uploaded four minutes ago, and those are the changes. We are now ready to start the rollout to alpha. Let's hit confirm, and we should be on the store as soon as they actually approve it. They have to go through um, the pending publication, basically something, something like 30 minutes or maybe one hour. They have to go through that process, make sure there is no virus in your app, make sure there is no, no problem with your app with what you entered here. And once this is actually approved, you're going to be having a link 
to your app. I think we can actually find it right now if we just click around. Okay, maybe not at the moment, but guys, that is actually all we need to do to publish. Make sure you put some graphics in there. Of course, don't steal mines, else you're just gonna be uh, you're just gonna be triggered by the instant algorithm. Like the algorithm are gonna find that you tried and copying somebody else, so you're gonna get trouble. Your app might be suspended, and we obviously don't want that. So, um, go ahead, push that on your store, push that to your alpha tester. Of course, there is a lot of work to be done on this game. If you currently just head back to your game, you're gonna realize first off, we don't have sounds. That is not viable for any application out there. You need to have some sounds and some sound effects. You also need to create some real gameplay prefab. Right now, we haven't created any. We only created some default segment to test out. Of course, not gonna work out. Uh, I mean, it could work out. Those are prefabs, but it's gonna get boring quite fast. So you might want to actually change that. And a bunch of little changes that you need to apply to make sure that this game works and is actually entertaining. So that is actually where we're gonna be ending the very first part of this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you could create some kind of endless runner of your own. And I really hope you join us also in the, the second part where it might not be advertised as Subway Surfer, but we're gonna be hinting it at least with the thumbnails and stuff like that. Um, the second part is gonna be about plugging in some services such as the Google Play services, the achievement, the leaderboard, the uh, balancing, some level design stuff as well is um, planned out for this. So that's actually where we're going to be ending up this episode, guys. I'm going to go ahead and publish uh, this game really, really soon. I'd like to do some changes. I'm going to add some more 3D model in here. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching again. I will be seeing you guys around the channel. If you have any questions, join us on Discord. Ask there. Join us on Patreon and um, anywhere, really, on Facebook as well. All right, guys. I will be catching you in some other tutorial. Cheers.